going on YouTube? Super Brother from the Total Nation bringing you guys a live announcement video even though it's not really a live announcement because it's already been done over and over again in the past 12 hours but still an announcement video on two new, uh, on my thoughts, I won't say an announcement video, I'll say a theory video on why 2016, I believe, is going to be the year of Pokemon Revival. Now I know some of you are sitting there and you've seen the trailer for Pokemon Go. Now. There's been a lot of flack about this on Twitter. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, Pokemon, you're cheating us out of the game. It's just going to be horrible like that April Fool's Google Day a year ago. It's going to be bad, bad, bad. Why, Pokemon? Why have you forsaken us to this hell of irrelevant mobile games? I got a newsflash for everyone who says stuff like that. Mobile gaming is becoming the number one way to game in the entire world. There are mobile gaming apps mobile gaming commercials airing at the Super Bowl more than our actual video game commercials. I'm letting you know it's happening, people. If you think mobile gaming is a niche market, you're crazy. Noble, mobile gaming is one of the biggest money makers in all of gaming. Look at Candy Crush. Look at Candy Crush. That's, that's, a, that's a prime example. It's a Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. That's all I'm gonna say. If you think mobile gaming's irrelevant, then you obviously have never heard of this stupid, addicting game that I can't ever, ever, ever play again for fear of breaking my phone into millions of pieces. Just saying. But what I also think Pokemon's trying to do is they're trying to reinvent Pokemon for an entire new generation. Yes, they know there's millions of Pokemon fans out there who are just waiting for the next main game release, and, um, and yeah, they're gonna release a new main game. Guys, Keep your, pan keep your panties on. I'm just saying, they're going to release a new main game. Is it going to be 2016? I don't know. However, I'm not going to say no because 2016 is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Red and Blue. So why wouldn't you release a new game? I'm just saying, we have gotten Pokemon fans, and especially Pokemon YouTubers, for instance, have gotten really selfish and greedy about main game lines. Remember, remember from, you know... 96, 98 to 2000, you had to wait two years, 2000, 2001, you had to wait two, three years to get a main game line, and then another two years for Ruby and Sapphire, and then another two years for Diamond and Pearl, and then a long, like, three years for Black and White. I don't know what your guys' selfish, selfish deal is, but stop. They're not going to release a main game every year. You guys get insanely greedy when Pokemon X and Y came out, and then a year later they released ORS. You guys have been getting insanely greedy. First of all, I think Pokemon Go is an amazing way to introduce new fans into the Pokemon community. I really do. How many kids do you see walking around holding this? They're holding an iPhone. They're holding a freaking a freaking Galaxy S6. You see 10 year olds walking around who've never played Pokemon before holding an iPhone. I think it's a great way to introduce Pokemon to a new generation. As a fan of Pokemon myself, I think this is a great way to introduce my son to it. I really, really, really think this is a good idea. That being said, I have some concerns. First of all, if the game's even as half as a as half as good as it looks in that trailer, I'm good. You sold me for life. It's amazing. I'm gonna be recording myself going around Germany looking for legendary Pokemon with War Tortoise. That's gonna happen. Obviously, but if it's not, if it's not, if the gameplay is bad, then I feel like this whole endeavor of trying to get new people in on the mobile side, because Pokemon knows that the mobile gaming industry is one of the largest gaming industries in the entire world. It's making cash money, and Pokemon and Nintendo, I hate to spoil this for you fans, they're in the business of making money. So they saw this as an endeavor to try to do it. I'm not sure how successful Google Day was. There was a lot of complaints about the game system and stuff like that. And I understand that. I get it. I 100% understand it. But I honestly think that this game can introduce an entire new generation of people, of players, of fans to Pokemon. How awesome is that going to be? For our... Our entire life, we've been waiting for a game like this. We're like, oh, we're going, what if, what, I mean, I know some of you imagined when you were kids. I did it when I was a kid. When I was 10 years old, yeah. I acted like I was catching Pokemon in the field somewhere. Whatever. I didn't care. It was amazing. It was awesome. And now, we can do it in real life? I'm like, oh, mom, I, babe, I gotta pull over. I gotta stop the car right now because there's a Charizard like 500 meters that way. And I need to catch it. And guys, this has become your Pokedex, your Pokeball. It's become how you play Pokemon in 2016 
and I think that's absolutely fantastic. They're bringing a really smart system. I just hope the gameplay is good. I really hope it's good. But you know what? If that doesn't fail, here's another reason why 2016 is the year of Pokemon revitalization. Pokemon Tournament coming to the Wii U. I wanted to do an announcement video, but I really I didn't at the time because it was at work and just blah 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 blah. But now that Pokemon Pokemon Go has come out, this whole this whole 2016 is a year to get excited about Pokemon again. Pokemon Tournament looks absolutely amazing uh, from the footage I've seen of Japanese gameplay. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to put that link down below. I, I forget what his name was, but he, he records some ja Japanese gameplay of Pokemon Tournament. It looks absolutely stunning. It looks absolutely amazing. It's going to be streamed everywhere by Poketubers. Just like if the gameplay is good for Pokemon Go, it's going to be we're going to go out, record ourselves, like freaking freaking record ourselves with camera going around trying to catch these Pokemon, maybe even doing some crazy version of an LP. And that's insanely, it's insanely, ex a, an insane reason to get excited. It really is. We, for the first time, get to actually go out in the world and look for Pokemon and hunt for legendary Pokemon all over the world. That is absolutely crazy, amazing. I'm excited about it. And everyone who's bitching about it just needs to understand. Pokemon is in the business of making money. Mobile gaming is a very, 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 very lucrative enterprise right now. So yes, they're gonna make money. But what they did here is they take in something that they t they could have they could have made any games. Honestly, they could have done anything. They could have put they could have put all original Pokemon games on mobile and made a, sh a shit ton of money. But what they did here, what they did here was they took an idea and like you know what. We're going to give Pokemon fans something they've been dying to do since they were 10 years old. Let's send them out in the real world, have legendaries appear in random spots of the world, let's have them go catch legendary Pokemon. Let's have them go catch a Charmander, a Pikachu. Let's have them go catch freaking Mewtwo. Oh my god, how are you guys not excited about the opportunity that Pokemon Go is presenting you? All I've heard is a bunch of bitching on Twitter, and I'm like, bro. I'm buying the game. I'm downloading it. Day one, I'll be out trying to go get a Charmander and a Pikachu. I'm just saying. I'm going to go try to find an Eevee evolved into Jolteon. I'm going to get my original team from Red Bat because I love that team. I want Articuno. I want Dugtrio. I want Jolteon. I want Vaporeon. I want Charizard. I want him. I want him. I want him. You guys just don't understand how awesome this is. And I don't know what... I, I honestly think people are, have been spoiled. They're they're booing up. They booed about Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. I get it. I I never really played the Mystery Dungeon games, but I'm gonna LP it because I think it's gonna be a great opportunity for viewers to come in and look at it. And this game, Pokemon Go, has the potential to be the biggest mobile game on the market, and that is saying something. Millions of people play Pokemon across the world. Imagine that app being downloaded millions of times, you have a community now, a community that they can have meets, a real life Team Rockets, I've already seen so many tweets about that, and that's absolutely awesome, I'm not going to be joining you because Team Rocket sucks, hashtag below, Team Rocket sucks, but seriously, just think about the applications of this, on, you could be just driving to your grandma's house, and you get an alert on your little wrist thing that says, hey, there's a legendary Pokemon nearby, Tell me your excitement level is not going to freaking jump through the roof. You're like, okay, uh, Grandma, uh, up whole Thanksgiving because I'm catching a freaking Articuno. Like, time now. And they're going to call you crazy. But you know what? Everyone's called you crazy because you're a Pokemon fan. And it's fine. Just think of what this will do for the game. It's going to bring so much more notice to the game. I mean, Pokemon's already a huge game. But just think of how awesome it's going to be. Uh, the communities are going to spring up around this, the events they're going to have. I am super, extremely excited about both these games. And I know I'm harping on Pokemon Go right now because the announcement was just like 12 hours ago. But guys, Pokemon Tournament looks amazing too. I promise you I'll be streaming that on Total Nation or maybe even my new channel that I'm developing. Spoilers for you guys uh, right now that I'm developing. Try to get try to get uh, brought, up, brought up to speed. Just need a couple more things actually. But it's going to be 2016. Is going to be a make or break year for Pokemon. I really think it's going to revitalize interest in the Pokemon world. I think it's going to revitalize. Uh, I think it's going to bring a lot of lot of young, a lot of young players to the Pokemon world, even more so than they already are, because just of how incredibly awesome that is. And Pokemon Tournament looks absolutely amazing. So I think Pokemon's delivering a one-two punch for 2016. And you know what? I don't think they're done, guys. Think about it. 20 years since they released Red and Blue. You honestly don't think that they're not going to come out with a main game release? 
It's September, guys. It's September. Calm down. Calm down already. Watch them release a video on Christmas announcing a new Pokemon main game. I'm just saying calm down. The year isn't over yet. It already looks fantastic with Pokemon Terminate. It already looks even more amazing with Pokemon Go. So please, give it a chance. But, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about it. I know some of you are probably like, uh, I'm not sure. Just, what I'm saying is, download it when it comes out. Give the game a chance. And then, and then make your judgments about it. But some of you have already judged me. And for those of you who's already made their judgment, comment below and let me guys, let me know what you guys think about Pokemon Tournament and Pokemon Go. And if 2016 is going to be a year of Pokemon revitalization across the globe, I really think 2016 is going to be a huge year for Pokemon. It's going to bring a lot of new fans, a lot of new interest, a lot more acclaim, a lot more attention to the game itself, which is a fantastic because everyone in the Pokemon community is fantastic. And uh, honestly, I don't know why this game is getting so much hate, considering that it has such a good chance of bringing Pokemon players together, even more so than Twitter already does, of uh, bringing us together in an actual real live event forum. And that's gonna be crazy. You don't have to wait till packs to gather to gather together with a group of Pokemon friends. Thirty, you can go hunt off for a legendary Pokemon. I'm just saying, the game looks like it's gonna breathe that type of of play, and I 100% love playing Pokemon with other people. So I hope it does. But like I said before, comment below. Let me let me know what you guys think. And if you like this video, hit, a little, hit that little thumbs up button that's right down below. If you didn't, and if you hate everything I'm saying, then hit that little thumbs down button. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And please, have a conversation in the comment sections. Let's get something started. Let me know what you think. I want some real feedback on this video. <sighs> Alright guys, well... I'm not going to say much else, I'm pretty much going to end the video right here, so remember turtle people that the number one leading cause of death for all turtle people is fat Italian plumbers with horrible mustaches, so please stay safe out there guys, later all.